What does Kentucky Straight Bourbon taste like? What does cask strength Kentucky Straight Bourbon taste like? It is, this one is finished in port wine barrels. It's 120.4 proof. It's 60.1% ABV to me and thee. It's from Louisville, Kentucky. Yes, you've probably guessed it. We're talking about the Angel's Envy cast strength. This is the Batch C9. Is it any good? Let's find out. Well, hello folks, how we doing? Yes, we've gone American for the day. I've got my mash and drum cap on. I have my mash and drum whiskey coin covering up my whiskey. And I have my whiskey nose. Whiskey Glen Cairn glass, glass. So, we're all American. Let's dive into this bourbon. I think it's a special bourbon. The sample's been sent to me by the Dram Yankee. Thank you very much, Jerry. Yes, it's Kentucky Street. Bourbon, Angel's Envy, Kentucky Street Bourbon, finished in port wine barrels. It's back C9, it's cast strength, and it's 120.4 proof. So it's a whopper. I've had it covered up for the last hour by the mash and drum coin. If you're into collecting your coins like I am, then we do a whiskey friend coin. If you want to update your collection and you want to support the channel at the same time, guys, we do some glasses too, so I'll pop all the links into the description. You can catch them down here, folks. So, yeah, Angel's Envy. It's out of Louisville, Kentucky. On the nose of this one, it's the alcohol's there. The ethanol hits you straight away. Yes, it's 120.4. But it has a lovely dried fruit around the nose. It's got some raisin. Yes, there's some booze soaked raisin, some brown sugar, caramel, the usual brown sugar caramel notes are here. This one becomes the red fruit, it's like plum, maybe a hint of red apple, but it's gone quite nutty. Maybe, I think peanuts come into mind, maybe a peanut bar, definitely some chocolate there. So there's a lovely, lovely chocolate note coming through it, so it's nutty, it's chocolate, it's raisiny. But there's a lovely fruity element. It's floral and fruity. Got a nice kind of... It's an engaging and interesting nose. Smelling a little bit of... Maybe some... A little bit of... Maybe a little hint of smoke. Maybe some firewood. Reminisce of smoke that hangs around. There's a little bit of smoke in there. Definitely some cinnamon. Maybe maybe a cinnamon stick. It smells like it's going to be powerful, guys. So I'm not going to traditionally send this doing the hatch. I'm just going to take a sip of this to start with. See how we go on. So, let's have a sip, guys. Let's see what it tastes like. Wow. Really, really dry arrival. Wow, that's... Oh, my goodness. That's good. Wow, wow. Dry arrival. Then it's, it's intense, it's powerful, big alcohol hit, wonderful, fantastic mouthfeel. It's so fruity, that, those red fruits, those plums, yes, the juicy plums, stewed plums, maybe some stewed red fruits. Let's do a second sip. That dryness on arrival. It's not long and it becomes, yes, it's dry. Sucks the saliva out of your palate, but then it becomes really mouth-watering. Really juicy. Stewed fruits. Some chocolate coming in. The nut, the peanut's still there. The raisin, the booze-soaked raisins are definitely still there. But here we have a chocolate bar in the UK. It's called a fruit and nut bar. So it's chocolate. Inside the chocolate, it has some nuts and it has some raisins. It's definitely like that. It's definitely that fruit and nut bar. As it's... Oh, let me have some more. It 
still has those typical bourbon notes, the caramel. It's got a little bit salty. So I'm thinking maybe some salted caramel. There's a lovely red fruit pie. So I'm thinking maybe, or maybe even a tart. Pie, tart, cherry tart, raspberry tart, red fruit, maybe even dark fruit, maybe even black currant pie, cherry pie. Wow. And it's still salty. So it's really, really interesting. It's really engaging. Definitely chocolate. And it's 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 powerful and it's it's hot. I don't know whether it's it's spicy or whether it's just the high alcohol. It's definitely a heat coming from it. Let's see how it finishes. Wish me luck, folks. This is so good. Thank you very much for sending me this, Jerry. You keep looking after me. You keep sending me all this good stuff. Hot. It's hot all the way through, even to the finish. It's a long finish. Is it long? Just so much alcohol. A little bit of oaky, woody note coming in. Maybe some leather on the finish. A little bit leathery. A little bit of maybe some tobacco leaf on the end there. But there's definitely the chocolate and the salted caramel. So all in all, what a wonderful, wonderful piece of work. I do have a little midgy flying around the shed at a minute, so I don't know if the camera's picked it up, but it's trying its best to get into this glass. I'm going to try and do my best to stop it committing suicide. Wow. Wonderful, wonderful stuff. Yeah, that finish is long, leathery, a little bit of tobacco. Maybe even a, maybe a wee hint of dark chocolate or maybe even it's got maybe even got into maybe a wee bit of espresso note on the end there so there's definitely and it's it's there's definitely some nice peanut on the end so absolutely wonderful big thanks guys if you've liked the video you know what you do give me the thumbs up i'm still testing my new mic at the minute so if the mic is sounding okay then hit that like button if you've not hit the channel you've not subscribed it's just down here guys friendly reminder for me to it still doesn't cost you a penny it's still completely free and you're still helping the channel on its way to the magical 6k we're getting ever closer folks so dive in and smash that button share the video with all your friends get them to like and subscribe patreons thank you to all the patreons i've had a good month this month on patreon so i'm looking forward to really getting to know some of the new patreons if you want to check out the channel we'll pop some links again somewhere through the video other than that i'm alan I'm the Whiskey Friend. Until the next one, guys. Don't forget to send some good whiskey straight down the hatch. And always remember, pleasure is in the sharing. Cheers now. Thank you.